Hello and welcome to another video from Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we're looking at something that is now quite old, um, becoming quite difficult to find and are now very collectible. We are looking at the 2002 release by Hasbro from their Star Wars Return of the Jedi um, series of figures. Although these figures was all part of the release of the... Um, the Attack of the Clones series of figures. Um, when they released the Attack of the Clones figures, they also included some of the original trilogy figures in the cases. Um, so there was Luke Skywalker, there was Han Solo, and a few of the other uh, ones from the classic, uh, what we class as the classic trilogy, or the original trilogy. Uh, and this particular figure was one of those um, figures. Um, and this one is of Han Solo from the Return of the Jedi, and he is um, in his Endor Raid attire. Okay, so this is a figure in front of us, and it says, warning, choking hazards, small parts, not for children under three years, ages four and up, and you've got the Star Wars logo, and you can see Luke holding his lightsaber there, and then you've got the figure in the behind the bubble there, and it says, with quick draw action, and there you've got an image at the bottom of Harrison Ford as Han Solo. If I just zoom in on that, you can see him just at the bottom there. Um, and um, it says, Return of the Jedi, Han Solo, Endor Raid. Okay, that's the front of the packet. Before we have a good look at the figure itself, I just want to turn the packet around to the back and let's see what we got printed on the reverse. Okay, so I've turned the figure around to the back, and this is what we've got. So it says, Return of the Jedi, Star Wars. The Empire prepares to crush the Rebellion with a second more powerful Death Star. As the Rebel fleet mounts a massive attack on the dreaded space station, Luke Skywalker confronts his father, Darth Vader, in a clinical duel before the evil Emperor. In the last second, Vader makes a momentous choice. He destroys the Empire, uh, Emperor and saves his son. The Empire is finally defeated. The evil Sith are destroyed and Anakin Skywalker is redeemed. A long, at long last, freedom is restored to the galaxy. And this is Han Solo and it's 0237. It says, with the second Death Star almost complete, the rebels infiltrate the forest moon of Endor in order to destroy the shield generator, protecting the deadly weapon. Daring and resourceful as always, Han fights his way to the shield uh, to plant proton grenades. And it says, rotate, waste, and push button to quick draw a weapon or throw a punch. Uh, suction caps on grenades attached to smooth surfaces. So there we go. Uh, and it says, collect them all. Chewbacca from Cloud City Capture. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Starfighter Pilot. And Han Solo Endor Raid. It says more figures coming soon. And you've got the product and colours may vary. Uh, poses shown may require additional support. 2002 Lucasfilm Limited. And all rights for copyright information at the bottom there. 2002 Hasbro and so on. So visit the official Star Wars website. www.starwars.com and www.starwarskids.com for the latest Star Wars toy information, visit www.starwars.hasbro.com. So join the official fan club, Star Wars, um, and you've got the Hasbro logo at the bottom there. Okay, so that is the back of the card. So let's turn the card back round and have a good look at the figure itself. Okay, so I've turned the card back round and I've zoomed in on the figure itself, and I just wanted to uh, zoom in on Han Solo, and I think that's a very 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 good likeness of Harrison Forder as he appeared as Han Solo I mean that's that's a really really good sculpturing on the face there um, I think it's one of the best that they did in this particular series and if we just have a look at Harrison Ford himself there you can see it's it's just so so close very very well done you can absolutely tell that that is uh, Han Solo I don't know if I can get the two in the same shot um, so that you can see it clearly. Um, I think it's brilliant. I mean, you've really got to zoom in on the figure to really see 
the detail in there, but it's so well done, I think. I think they've done an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, whoever sculpted this is such a good likeness of Harrison Ford. Uh, but there we are. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so Han Solo um, with that quick draw action. Um, there is a, uh, I think they said, was it a button at the back? Oh, that's, yeah, rotate wi wa waist and push button, it says. So you rotate the waist and there is a button at the back. I can see the button on the back of the of, of his body there. You can just about see it. Um, so, yeah, you rotate him. Um, and he can either punch or he can do a quick draw of his pistol. And his pistol is there, and that does actually fit in his holster on his leg. Um, and then you've got these suction cups, which you, if you lick them, you can stick them onto ceramic surfaces, if you like, glass, tiles, and so on. Um, Articulation-wise, well, these figures weren't great for articulation, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, the, the, you didn't get a lot of articulation. Now, as you know, we can't remove that figure from the pack, but I do have blah, 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 my trusted um, Stormtrooper figure here um, with the articulation and size is all the same. So you've got the articulation of the tops of the arms. There's no elbow or rotating hands or anything like that. Um, although the hands on these ones were a little bit better than what we had on this particular one. So they had the fingers spread out um, for use, so you can fire the gun properly, hold the, the gun properly, um, and the suction cap. So they they, they had learned that by the time um, they come to this particular wave of figures. But otherwise, the same thing, um, the legs, um, other than the um, movement up and down at the tops of the legs, there is no other um, articulation. The waist does turn. Uh, this one's got the quick door action as well, and obviously the head moves, uh, but that is it. There's no other um, articulation, and you can see that the size-wise, they're pretty much the same, um, which is the classic four-inch figures, or just under four-inch figures, um, which come in at 10 centimetres just under, um, by about four centimetres across, and about two centimeters deep. So they were all about that size. So that was the, the size of the figure. Um, otherwise, that is it really. I mean, there's not a lot else I can tell you about that figure, but I do think um, this particular range of figures, which was what we call as the uh, the middle range, uh, because they, were, they all came out at the same time as the Attack of the Clones figures. Um, but I do think these figures didn't really have the promotion that the first film, the, the um, Phantom Menace di did, and the Revenge of the Sith did. Um, although I think the figures in this series were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I think they were f some of them were far better than the um, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, sorry, yeah, Revenge of the Sith and the Phantom Menace. And this particular figure in in itself, I just think is fantastic. I do think that the, as I said, the um, sculpting is just spot on um, for Harrison Ford. Very, very good. Uh, so I do like this uh, series of action figures. And I really don't think that they were given enough promotion um, when they came out, uh, which is a shame, really. But there we are. Anyway, how well did they do? Well... That's what we say, the middle film never fares as well as the first and the last. Uh, so the merchandise on the um, Attack of the Clones, although there was a fair amount produced, it wasn't as successful as the Phantom Menace or as the um, Revenge of the Sith, even though there was some of the original figures and um, accessories thrown in. Uh, to keep your lips wet, I suppose, um, coin, to coin a phrase. But um, but they really didn't do as well as, I suppose, was expected, um, all based on the success of the... Uh, well, this would have been... These were followed on from the Phantom Menace figures, which were very successful. I don't think they produce as many, um, being that this is the middle film as well. Um, and these ones... 
although when they first come out they were pretty much in abundance everywhere but as time's gone on they, they're becoming less and less you don't see these ones as often as you see the phantom menace or the revenge of the sith um series come up so there we are it's, it's quite strange that they decided to put some of the original ones in this middle batch as well because they didn't do it in the first one and they didn't do it in the last one so incidentally, that's just a just a, a, an observation that there. But um, if anyone knows um, why, then please drop me a message and let me know. But I, I don't understand why they did that when these were all advertised as Attack of the Clones figures in the cases. Anyway, we've digressed here. They don't come up very often on the platforms. Um, not anymore, anyway. The ones that do were the very, very common figures that came that uh, were in the cases. Uh, the lesser quantities, yeah, you don't see them very often. You certainly don't see this one come up very often. It does occasionally appear, but certainly not very often. Um, okay, so we are 22 years on from when this was was, was originally released. Um, as I say, finding them is quite difficult. If you do find them on the platforms, they're generally loose figures, uh, not within the plat in, in the um, uh, packets. Um, I say one, when they do come up, they're usually bought very quickly. Um, and the other thing also, I'll tell you over and over again, be careful when you buy on the platforms. Make sure you have a good look at the item and the description, because they use a lot. Of the platforms use stock photographs. And it will show you a new figure when you're actually buying a used old figure. So be very careful and make sure you read the description of the used product and look at the pictures if they've uploaded pictures for that particular used item. A lot of rigmarole, I know. But you don't have to go through all that. You can come straight to us at Midas Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles where you'll be able to find this and many other Star Wars figures. Now, these particular figures was a sealed case that we managed to find on one of our shop purchases um, and it was a whole unopened case of these figures which we are going through one by one and uploading onto the website and this is the latest one and you can find this by clicking the link below it will take you straight to the website we will you will find this figure and many many other star wars items and many other vintage toys games and collectibles come to that as over ten thousand products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website there will be something for everybody and i'm absolutely positive that this is something that you're not going to want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis so if there's something in particular you're looking for something old that you're never able to find something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend or perhaps just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be the item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed reviewing this wonderful action figure with me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video. So bye for now.